Hello, Mr. Roberto. Good evening. Hello. Okay, let's see for, let's wait for everybody to connect. Sarah. Hello, Sarah. Hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you? I'm fine, teacher, and you? I am just great. Happy to have you here in class. Ah, my day is um, stressful, very stressful. Okay, but tell me, how was your weekend? I'm fine, very fine. Uh, I go to the beach with my husband and my daughter. I went. I went. Oh, really? Where did you go? Yes. Where did you go? To El Puerto, to San Diego, to La Costa? Uh, no, Palmarcito Beach. Oh, Palmarcito. Nice. Yeah. Very nice beach. Yes, I beautiful. know. I know there. Yes, um, I'm eating fish and swim. I ate. Ate. I ate fish. Fish. And I swam. And I swam. Yes, El Palmarcito is a nice place. I remember. Oh, I used to work somewhere over there. Yes, um, surf. Yeah, there's a lot of surfing there. Yes. And tell me, uh, how long did you stay there? All day long? Again, teacher? Did you, did you stay there all day long? Yes, all day long. Okay, at what time did you leave your house? ¿A qué hora salió de casa? Um, 70, 70 o'clock. 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock. Okay. Sí. And at what time did you arrive there? Um, 8 o'clock. Oh, just one hour? Yes. Okay, what about the way back? Was there traffic? Mm, no, no. There was some traffic. Oh. Um, yes. There was some traffic. No había traffic. No, no, no. No. Okay. Eh, no uh, how do you say no mucho? No much. No much. Okay. Okay. Well, that's excellent. That's very good. Okay, thank you, Sarah. Thank you, teacher. There's Zuli. Hello, Zuli. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you, teacher. Tell me, Zuli, how was your weekend? Mm, I'm working. I was working. Oh, really? This yes. weekend yesterday? Oh. Yes. Okay, what was your schedule yesterday? Um, 
¿Qué hice? No. What was your schedule? Horario. Yesterday. Yesterday. Eh, last, last night. Um, no. What was your schedule? ¿Cuál fue su horario? Ah, es que... Disculpa. Este... No problem. De... De A&M. From uh, to, 8 a.m. To... From 5 um, p.m. Okay, listen, Sully. Pay attention to me. When we are saying the time or a schedule, we say from two. Look from at two. the chat. Yes, we say from from 7 a.m. or from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Okay? okay? From means desde and to means hasta. Okay? Okay. okay. So, what was your schedule yesterday? From a.m. to 5 p.m. Perfect, Suli. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Urania, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine. Okay, cool. Tell me, how was your weekend? Um, um, my weekend uh, was cool, uh, terrible. Was um interesante. Normal. interesante interesting interesting wow. yes can i know why puedo saber por qué um my um, sobrino miss 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 my miss um 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 me uh, <laughs> is teaching is te is teaching is teaching uh, to drive to teaching me to drive teaching me to drive okay yeah so yesterday she talked to you talk talk talk, talk. that's talk. the verb teach in past ah The British in past is talk. So she taught you how to drive. Cool. Yes. So you didn't crash? You didn't yeah. crash? No. <laughs> no, okay. I, I didn't. I didn't. Oh, perfect. Excellent. <laughs> well, be careful. Be careful. Yes. Uh, my, my, niece? my niece. My niece. My niece is um, 17 years old. Uh, so okay, your niece is 17 years old. Yeah. Oh, yes. And yes. she's teaching you how to drive. Yeah. Yeah. And oh, that's he, interesting. He he he's um. Oh. Okay. More. He. Sobrina or sobrino? Sobrino? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. Nephew. 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 Oh. Nephew. Okay. <laughs> nephew. Yeah. My nephew um, is 17 years old. So he is um, very patient. 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 Oh, that's nice. Patient. Yes, and that's a good <laughs> for me. Good. It's very yeah. important. <laughs> that's nice, that's nice. Thank yeah. you, Rania. Okay. Mr. Javier Mauricio, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, mister? I'm fine, teacher. And you? I'm just great. Tell me, how was your weekend? Uh, it was terrible. It was terrible. I work it in was... the weekend. Oh, really? Yes. 
What was your schedule? From to 7 a.m. From 7 a.m. to? To? 5 p.m. Ouch. A very long day. Yes, teacher. Okay, so no resting. When is your free day? When was your day off? ¿Cuándo fue su día libre? Um, maybe in this this week. So you didn't have a free day, a day off last week? No tuvo día libre la semana pasada? No, teacher. Ouch. I'm sorry to hear that. So it's been hard for yes. you. Well, yes. thank you, Javier. It's good to have you okay, here. Okay, sure. Thank you. Wendy. Hello, Wendy. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Fine, teacher. Great. How was your weekend? Um, on Saturday, I went to work for a meeting in the okay. I went to the supermarket. Perfect. Okay. On Sunday, I went to church with my daughters. And the afternoon, I went out with my best friends to okay. Jamaica. Oh, that's interesting. So you were very busy yesterday. Yes. Okay, that's excellent. You were very busy yesterday. I am asking you guys about your activities about yesterday because today we are going to work with the simple past of the verb be. Okay? So, let's start. Uh, are you working in the platform, by the way? Yes? Okay, so if you're working in the platform, for this week we are in section five. And right now, let me just do a little something here. Okay. Let's see. Can you hear me now? Yes. Can you listen to me? Yes. Yes, sir. Okay, excellent, excellent. So, in the platform, in the section 5.1, from the English Corporativo platform, we have a small conversation, okay? So right now, please get into the platform because you are going to listen to the pronunciation of the conversation. Mm -hmm. Then we are going to practice it in pairs and then you are going to say it here. I'm going to choose some of you to pronounce it for the rest of the group, okay? So let's see, the conversation in the platform, let me see, starts right here. By listening to a conversation title, I was born in Korea. Let's listen and practice. I was born in Korea. <laughs> Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S.? No, I came here in 1999. Were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good, so I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Let's take a look at the statements on this chart now. Statements with the past of B. I was born in Korea. I wasn't born in the U.S. You were pretty young. You weren't very old. She was 17. She wasn't in college. We were born in the same year. We weren't born in the same country. They were in Korea in 1998. They weren't in the U.S. in 1998. Contraction. 
Okay, What's let's see, let's see, let's see. What's we don't that? need this. So, did you listen to the pronunciation? Hello? Oh. So, so, teacher. If you say this, five, <laughs> four, one. Are you in the platform? Estamos en la platform? In the platform, look for section 5.1. Buscamos en la plataforma la sección 5.1. Okay? Yes, teacher. Okay. You don't need to play the video. No necesitan poner el video. What no, I just want you to do is uh, advance it to the second yeah. 21 seconds. Okay? Avance hasta lo, el segundo 21. Okay? Hasta los 21 segundos. Do you have it now? Yes? ¿Lo tenemos? Okay, Sara, we'll be waiting for you. Yes? Can you get it? Ya lo tuvimos, ya lo podemos ver. There you have the text. And what I'm playing is the audio, okay? Because if you play it, it's going to use a lot of your internet. Si usted lo pone, le va a tomar mucho el internet. You will hear the connection like, like cut, okay? Mm -hmm. You want me to play it again for you? ¿Quieren que lo ponga de nuevo? So you can listen and read? Yes, teacher, please. Okay, let's do it. No problem, no problem. Okay, guys, there you go. Let's listen and practice. I was born in Korea. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S.? No, I came here in 1999. You were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good, so I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good, too. Yeah, but I was born here. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at the statements on this chart now. Statements with the past. Okay, then. So now, you need to divide in pairs, and you have to do to practice that conversation. Any question about the vocabulary? No, teacher. No? No. no. Okay, perfect. Excellent. So let's jump in right now to the groups because we have many activities for today. Hello, Carol. Hi, teacher. Okay, let's get in the groups. Okay. Suli, let's see. Suli, can you get in the group? Okay, perfect. Yes, okay. Uh, I was born in Korea. Is yes. Korea. Where are you born? Yeah, I'm a, I was the SS. And 5.4. 5.4. Okay. 
Ah, okay. Ah. Hey, pa, ah, five. Okay. The name of the conversation is I was born in Korea. Okay. Lo encuentran a los 21 segundos o 24 segundos del video. There's the text. Okay. Yes. Okay, Suli. Okay. You are. Hi, teacher. Uh, Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hello, teacher. Um, the activity is the practice conversation. The pronunciation. Yes, practice the conversation. Practice the mm -hmm. conversation. Teacher, um, one question. Uh, how do you say la, el año? ¿Cómo se, ¿Cómo se dicen los años? ¿Por partes? 1999. Yes. You divide it in two. Ah, de dos en dos. Yes, 1999. Ah, ok, ok. Ah, ok. Ah, ok. Hello, Carol. Hello, Come teacher. On, Carol, you were late for class. What happened? Eh, había tráfico en la carretera de oro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The no sé qué, creo trip. que había un accidente. The same old truco. El viejo truco. No. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Let's practice. Yes. Ok. okay. Eh, comienzo. So I talk English que las for two years first. Oh, well, your English is really good now. Thank you. Your English is pretty good too. Yeah. But I was born here. Okay, very In well. Alambia. Hi, Hello. teacher. <laughs> Hola, teacher. Hi, Tamara. So, Roberto, how's the flu? Yeah, nice. I am very nice. good. Okay. You know, I forgot to tell you the receipt. Se me olvidó darle la receta. It was one tequila and five lemons, or was it five tequilas and five lemons? Ah. I don't and remember. Five tequila, five, one. Five bucks. Five bucks. Five bucks. Solo dejarme. Solo dejarme. Ya después le voy a seguir dando la receta. Okay, guys. We can go back right now. Okay, let's see. Everybody's coming back. So, Carol, there was traffic. Mm -hmm, yeah. Hey. Huh. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, you live in by Soyapango, no? Yes, I live in Soyapango. Uh, traffic there is terrible every single day. Yes. Yeah, I know, I know. But anyway, what can we do? Let's, we just have to be patient, very patient. Debemos ser pacientes. Ya no. <laughs> no more. Yes? Teacher, when you, no, when you cut your hair. When, oh, when, when did when, you. When did you. Uh -huh. Cut. Cut. Your hair. I, do you hear it? Okay. Oh, yesterday. Okay. Ah, Chinori. So no I'm like. <laughs> okay, let, okay, let's see. Roberto, you're first. Yes, you go now. Um who was your partner? Ah, uh, my partner uh, uh, is Tam. Okay, Tamara, let's do it. Who start? I'm start. I'm start. Okay, perfect. Where are you? Where were you born, Melissa or Tamara? 
I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S.? No, I came here in 90, 90, Nine. 1999. 99. Thank you. Um, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good. So I took English class for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thank you. Your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Okay, perfect. Very well done, guys. Just remember, born, born, born. Korea, 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 Korea. Took. Took. First. 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 Okay, now let's see. Urania. Who was your partner, Urania? My partner is Javier. Okay. Javier. Let's start. Let's see, Javier is here. Javier, we don't hear you. <laughs> we cannot hear him. Okay, let's wait. You're gonna be last, Turania, don't worry. You're gonna do it later. Okay, let's see, Sarah. Hi. Who was your partner? Tell me. Uh, my partner is uh, Ana Maria. Okay, now let's do it, Ana Maria. Okay, sure. Okay. Okay, Ana Maria. Uh, where are you born, Ana Maria? Where's Ana Maria? Oops. Hi. Hello. Hi. No, yo, <laughs> yo. Oh, Carol, Carol. Yes. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ah, I'm Ana sorry. Ana Maria didn't connect today. Yes. Oh, no, sorry. Okay, I'm Carol, sorry, Carol. Let's do it. Okay. Okay. Where, uh, where were you born? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the USA? No, I came here in 1999. 1999. 1999. Mm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right now, right away? Uh, no, my English was wasn't very good. So I took English uh, class for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks, your English is very good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Okay, okay very well done, very well done. <coughs> now let's Good see. Chair. Yes, Javier, oh, now there's Javier. Okay, Javier and Sara, what's it? Yes, let's do it. Urania. Oh, Urania, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Wow. My bad. Okay. okay. Where were you born, Urania? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you were born in the USA? No, I came here in 1999. 1999. 1999. 1999. Mm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good, so I 
taught English class for two years first? Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was work here. Okay, okay, very well done, guys. Born. Remember, born. 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 Okay. And remember, first. Born. First. 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 Okay, let's see, let's see. Now, let's see who's missing, who's missing. ¿Quién me falta? ¿Quién me falta? Suli. Hello, Suli. Who was your partner, Suli? My partner, Wendy. Okay, now tell me. Okay. Where were you born, Suli? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the USA? No, I came here at night in like night. Mm, you very pretty young. Yes. You were? You were pretty young. Pretty? Pretty, okay, young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to school it right away? No, my English wasn't very good. So I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks, your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Okay, let's see. Now, who's missing? ¿Quién me falta? Who's missing, guys? Let's see. Romeo? Romeo, but Romeo is no partner. Um, my partner, uh, Urania. Urania? Urania again? Yeah. Okay, do it. Yes. <laughs> uh, where 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 were you born Melissa uh, Urania? I was born in Korea. Oh so you were where born in the USA? No, I came here in one thousand ninety nine ninety nine. Okay Urania, I'm sorry, I will stop you here. <laughs> When we say that big number, you divide it. 1999. 1999. 1999. Okay, teacher. You were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college? right away no my english wasn't very good so i took english classes for two years mm -hmm. first. first well your english is really good now thanks your english is pretty good too uh, yeah but i uh, was more more here but I was born here. But I was born here. Born here. Born here. Okay. Here. Now, let's listen again. Just listen and read, please. I was born in Korea. Korea. Where were you uh, born? Yeah. I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the US? No, I came here in 1999. Mm. You're pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good. I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Let's take a look at the statements. Okay. You listen better now, didn't you? Escucho mejor, ¿verdad? Okay, great, excellent, excellent. 
Today, uh, from now on, we are going to be doing listening activities like this, okay? A partir de ahora vamos a estar haciendo más actividades de listening. Okay, so let's be ready. And remember, if you can, wear earphones. Si pueden, escuchan audífonos. That's even better for you to listen, okay? Now, let's see. The next, the next activity. No, no. Let me see. As you have seen, we are working with simple past tense. And for the simple past tense, we use, uh, sorry, we are using simple past tense. And for the simple past tense, we use was and where. Let me show you a small presentation that I have prepared for you. Just let me check on something right here. I think this is better. Okie dokie. So let me show you the presentation right now. Okay, and we are right here. Simple past tense. Okay, now let's start working. Simple past tense of the verb be. If you remember, in simple present, the verb be is I am. Okay, now the verb be doesn't follow the common rules. You remember that last week we were working with simple past tense and we were that the verb in past for the affirmative, for the negative, the auxiliary did, okay? For the interrogative, the auxiliary did again. Now, when we talk with, about the verb be, this is a special verb. Does not follow those rules. Ahora vamos con un verbo especial que no sigue las reglas, okay? This verb got its own rules. Este verbo, por eso lo vemos aparte, tiene sus reglas propias, ¿ok? It's like an exception to the rules, como una excepción a las reglas, ¿ok? So, let's continue. Now, it was, I am, I was. Power off. You are, you were. You see? Am changed into was, are turned into where. He is, he was. She is, she was. It is, it was. We are, we were. They are, they were. If you see, The use of the verb be in present is, the conjugation of the verb be in present is am, is, are. Okay? That's the way we conjugate it. But in past, we just have two forms, just was and were. Because you see, I was, he was, she was, it was. And we just have were for you, we and they. Any question up to here? Alguna pregunta? No questions? Remember, guys, it's your class. You can stop no. me anytime. Recuerden, no. su clase, me pueden detener. Okay, let's continue. Teacher. Yes. <laughs> Tell well, me. Um, uh, Lo que no entiendo, bueno, es, es diferente de other verbs. Yes. Eh, pero, bueno, en español se va a decir, ¿cómo aprendemos eso así de, simplemente se aprende? Yes. ¿Por qué? This is a special verb. Este es un verbo especial. Esta regla solo aplica para él. Ok. Ok. Just for the verb be. Solo para el verbo ser o estar. Ok. okay. Just for... This is the only verb that where this applies. Esto es el único verbo con el cual aplica lo que veremos hoy. Okay? Okay. Thank you, teacher. And remember that the verb be in Spanish is like ser o estar. Do you remember from the conversation we just practiced? 
¿Se recuerdan de la conversación que acabamos de practicar? I was born in Korea. Where were you born, Urania? I was born in Sarchopa City. Okay, and tell me, Urania, where were you yesterday? Where? Donde? Where? You just say there. Um, in my house. <laughs> Perfect. Simple, <laughs> see? Okay. Okay, now listen, Urania. Tell me, where, where were you married? Where? Where did you, you marry? You marry. I don't marry. I am not I, married. I am not. I am not married. No, está casada. No. no. Okay. So you will tell me. Oh, I am not married. I am. I am not married. Remember that we are using the verb be. Okay? okay. Estamos utilizando el verbo observar estar. Roberto, what about you? Where were you married, mister? I, I, I was, I was, I, I was married in San Salvador. Okay. You can say it in two different ways. You can say I was married in San Salvador or you can say I got married in San Salvador. I got. Okay. okay? Okay. Well, let's continue with the presentation. So, if you see, we have, in the present time, we have am. I am in class today. In the past time, we say, I was in yes. class yesterday. If you notice, am changes into was. And today, the time expression changes into yesterday. Okay. In this case, like uh, yesterday, I was, let's see, I was at home in the afternoon because in the morning I was doing some things with my wife. We went out. Now, yesterday it was, it was very hot. It was terribly hot here where I live. I mean, I was sweating all night long. You see, it was, estuvo. The weather was. Okay, let's continue. Any question? No? Okay, no. perfect, perfect. Then, June is here today. June was here yesterday. Again, look, am and is turned into was. And are becomes were. So, we are happy today. We were happy yesterday. We were busy yesterday. We were relaxed yesterday. Sully was very busy yesterday because she worked. You see, I am using the simple past of two different verbs. Sully was very busy yesterday because she worked. Okay? Any question up to here? Alguna pregunta hasta acá? No? No. Okay, perfect. Let's continue. Let's continue. Now, so remember, for the simple past tense of be, I was, you were, she was, he was, it was. We were, you were, they were. Remember that you is singular and you is plural. You can use it for both because a singular means usted or tú or vos. And in plural means ustedes, okay? Now, let's see, let's see, Carol. 
If I have this sentence in present, Carol, the water is warm today, how would it be in past? Um, the water. The water is. In past? Was. The water is. Was. The water was warm today. No. You can War. use today or you can say yesterday. Okay. Yesterday. The water was warm yesterday. Perfect. Excellent, Carol. Now let's continue. As with everything, we have a negative form. Okay, the negative form. Listen. The negative form is very simple. After was, after the verb, we put not. We place not. I was not in class yesterday. She wasn't in class yesterday. Look, was plus not equals wasn't. This is the contraction. So we say, I wasn't, she wasn't, he wasn't, it wasn't. Okay? Okay. So if I ask Suli, Suli, were you in your house yesterday in the morning? Mm. No. Yes. I, mm. Were you? Didn't you go to work? No fue a trabajar. Mm. Fue a trabajar. Yes. Okay. Sí. So. Yes. I ask you. Were you at home yesterday in the morning? Si le pregunto, estuvo en casa ayer por la mañana? Yes, I was. No. No. No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. Porque no estuvo. No, I wasn't. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Romeo, were you at work yesterday? No, I wasn't. Perfect. Because he doesn't work on Sundays. Roberto. Were you, were you with your friends yesterday? Excuse me? Were you with your friends yesterday, amigos? Uh, no, I wasn't. Yesterday is a family day. <laughs> okay, perfect. Just remember, yesterday was a family day. Yesterday is a family day. Was. Ah, was. Ah, but, but every, every, ah. every, yes, sun, Sunday. Okay, now listen. And it's very nice what you just say. Es excelente lo que acaba de decir. Yesterday was a family day. Ayer fue un día familiar. Because you said yesterday, como utilizó yesterday, está hablando del pasado. Now, if you want to tell me the routine, si me quieres decir la rutina, or the habit, o el hábito, you tell me, oh, Sundays are family time. Okay? okay. You get it okay. now? Okay. You see the difference? Sundays yes. are family time. Los domingos son, son de la familia. Familias. Okay? okay? But yesterday was family time. As you use the time expression for the past, you, we use the verb in past, okay? Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. No, thanks to you. Now, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's continue with the presentation. We still have a little bit more here. So, remember, we have were not becomes weren't, okay? Weren't. You were not home last night. You weren't home last night. So remember, for the negative, the subject plus the verb was or were plus not. We weren't. You weren't. They weren't. Okay? Now, let's see. Before we go to the activity, is there any question? Antes de que la actividad, alguna pregunta? No? Everything is clear? 
atiende todo. Let me just let me just make a little review for you. Okay. Remember, guys, for I, for he, for she, and for it. For this, in these cases, we use was. Was. Perfect. Excellent. And remember, guys, that for you, for we, we. and for they, what do we use? Where. 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 Perfect. Where. Where. Where in the affirmative. This is affirmative. Okay, now, if we have negative, it's different. Why? Because in the negative, remember, we have was not, okay? Equals? Yes. Wasn't, perfect. Wasn't. And in the negative, when? we have, oops. In the negative, we were, have were, were not were, equals weren't. 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 Perfect. So, I guess it is pretty clear, no? Creo que está bien claro. Yes? Excellent, yes. excellent. Very good. Now, the activity. The activity is very, very, very simple. Okay? Working in pairs, talk about yourself, telling a story of something that happened to you in the past, using the simple past of the verb be. Okay? Working in pairs, talk about yourself, telling a story of something that happened to you in the past, using the simple past of the verb be. Now, how? Please remember, when we are speaking in a normal conversation, I mean, we don't use just one verb. In una conversación normal no utilizamos solo un verbo. We use different verbs. So, in the story that you are going to tell, at least use two times the verb be. And I'll give you an example for you. Let's go un ejemplo, okay? Yesterday, uh, yesterday in the morning, I went to cut my hair. I wasn't home all morning because we went to the mall to buy some stuff. And we were at the mall all morning. So if you listen, I said five sentences. Three with different verbs, two with the verb be. I said, I went to cut my hair. I wasn't home all the morning because we went to the mall to buy some things. We were, simple past, we were at the mall all morning. So if you notice, I used five sentences, but in order to tell my story, I didn't use just one verb. I used different verbs because we need to make it more natural, okay? I don't need you to make a list of sentences. I need you to make like telling a story, like a regular story. Why don't you talk to your classmates about yesterday? What did you do yesterday? Like Roberto says, oh, yesterday I was at home all day long because it was, or yesterday was, family time. In family time, we clean the house together, we have lunch together. So you see, in his case, we are using different verbs, but we use our, at least two times the verb be. Is it clear now? Se entiende lo que vamos a hacer? Yes? yes. No questions? Okay, guys. Take notes because perhaps we are not going to finish the activity today. So take notes and we are going to finish it tomorrow, okay? So let's get in the groups right now. 
I'm going to recreate all the groups and let's jump in, please. Hello. Five sentence. Not necessarily. I? No. No. no, no, no. No. Okay. The idea is this. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use Spanish. Perdón, voy a usar español. Okay. Usted cuente una okay. pequeña historia. Yo les conté una okay. historia de cómo fue mi día ayer. En toda ah. la historia, al menos en dos ocasiones, puse el verbo be. Ok. 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 Ok, Wendy. Ok. Um, ok. ¿Any question? Eh, ¿Cuántas oraciones, teacher? As I told you, not necessarily a number of sentences. No necesariamente un número de oraciones. At least two times use the verb be. Al menos dos veces usen el verbo ser o estar. In past. Ok. In past. Ok. It was Sunday morning. Uh huh. The lace. No. The lay Sunday. Last Sunday. La, last Sunday. Well, actually, uh, last Sunday was yesterday. You can say yesterday. Ah, okay. And yesterday. Uh, I go to. I went. I went to the beach. Uh, Hello, guys. The, the grand, no. the grandmother. Oh, ¿cómo se diría? Okay. Sería, right. sería apropiado decir abuela, grandmother. You can say grandmother. Right. You can say grandma. Grandma. Uh -huh. Okay. So, yeah, my, my look, cool. at, look at the chat. You can say. Grandmother, very formal. You can say grandma. And if you are in in the in the United Kingdom in England, you can say granny. 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 Yeah. That's granny. like okay. abuelita. Granny. Okay, okay. And For, for the, pues se puede decir, eh, por último, for the last. At last. For the last. At the end. At last. No, in the no, end. at last. Let's see. Por último. Uh, yeah, you can say at last. Or in the end. Or finally. Finally is the most correct. Uh, finally. Okay. Um, uh, finally. Swim. Swim. Uh, do you say Colum columpio, teacher? Swing. 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 Yes. Swing. 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 No, no. Okay. Oh, 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 urania, urania. Sí. It is a G at the end. Es una G. That sound comes here. Swing. 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 Okay, that's better because at the Swing. beginning, you were hitting that G. So it became a K, swing. And it's swing. 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 Look in the chat. Swing. 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 Perfect. Swing. Okay, okay, okay. You ready, guys? Finish? Yes. Yes. Okay, let's yes, go back to the main room. Okay. Aha, uh -huh. Sully went to the beach yesterday. <laughs> yes. With my friend. Okay. Surprise. 
Okay, now Suli, tell me, did you finish the platform? And no. Uh, ah, and you hi. went to the beach and you didn't work in the platform. Suli, remember guys, this Esta week, semana. yes, because the deadline is this coming Friday. Uh, la fecha límite es el viernes for the platform. Okay, so we need to speed it up. We need the to work a lot. Yes, because remember guys, and I'm telling, I was telling some of your classmates here, let me see, is everybody here? Yes. Perdón, voy a usar español. Les decía a algunos de sus compañeros que esta semana, el viernes, es fecha límite para el trabajo de la plataforma. Okay, so if you have any question, remember, you can contact me, okay? I am here for you guys. Now, how do you like the activity? ¿Qué les pareció la actividad de ahora? Excellent. Do you like the Do you like the listening practice? Thank you. ¿Les parece bien yes. listening practice? Yes. Yes, yes, yes teacher. Because it's the more difficult listen. Yeah. Okay. That's nice because we are going to continue working then like that. Okay, guys. The sentences you prepare are for tomorrow. Practice them, practice them. If you have any problem with the pronunciation, you can ask me and I will gladly help you, okay? So let's remember, the verb be uses in the simple past, was or were. As it is a special verb, the structure is simple. Subject, verb, complement, affirmative. Negative, subject, verb, not, Compliment. Okay. I was at home yesterday. I wasn't at home yesterday. You were at the beach. You weren't at the beach. Okay. It's very, very simple. This verb is simple. Okay. The structure is pretty simple. So, thank you very much, guys. It was nice to have you here. I expect you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Okay, okay teacher. Well, Thank you. And don't okay, forget to see practice. you tomorrow. Don't forget bye. to practice. Bye bye. 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 Bye.